Yo guys, Dallaire here, and uh, I'm going to show you a little thing on Subnautica that might help you out if you're stuck with like a little bug in the game. So I'm going to load the game in, and then we'll get right to it. Alright guys, so I'm here now, and let's just say you're like, you want to play this mode and not go on creative or whatever it's called, and you want to play from this mode and get ahead of the game, I guess you can say. Ooh, fucking hardcore lag. So, what you can do is, there is a website called subnautica.wikia.com, and then, like, the slashes afterwards, it's slash wiki slash debug underscore console underscore commands. So, basically, this entire website shows you things such as uh, spawning other items, restoring the ship of, like, the Aurora, destroying the ship of the Aurora, so... I can show you guys me blowing this up right when the game starts. So all you do is type. So first you want to hit F3 and F8 so you can click around. You want this to be off. Okay, so there's no dot. You'll have to do this every time you play the game. No matter, Even if it's already off, you have to reset it every single time. So what you do is hit enter. And then you hit explode explode ship in the corner and then voila and then you can hit restore ship and voila it's fixed so yeah I it's you guess you could say they're cheat codes to the game but it's some things to help you out during the game because sometimes it's kind of a pain in the ass you wanted to do something in the game but you couldn't because the ship already exploded and you still don't know what to do in the game, right? So what else you can do is, uh, let's just say you want to build a base. And you're like, fuck man, I really just don't want to get into it. I'm really not in the mood for it. What you can do is come in here and you're like, fuck, what do I need for a builder? Right? So you hit your tools and then builder is right here. So what you need is a computer chip and a battery. All you need to do is hit item, computer chip all one word and then put the quantity of you need so remember hit enter item computer chip one then it's entered into the thing item battery fucking retarded spelling here one voila and you got your battery and then all you need to do is go build it and ta-da and let's just say see how here you get the basic stuff that you get no matter what in the game right so you get your three benzene blah 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 so if you actually go here and hit unlock all I'm pretty sure that's the code let's just make sure and voila everything in the game is now unlocked which takes away a lot of the fun in the game I strongly recommend do not do it it makes the game Freaking boring. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deny it. It's like the most boring thing you can do is make the, do this. Um, another thing you can do to make things a little easier, if you suck at finding things, or if you're really lazy to go scavenge for scrap metal, or or, and this is like the big or. Lately, it hasn't happened with me, but it's been happening with a couple people DMing me on Twitter. Is you can't find certain items such as uh, let's just say titanium. No titanium is in those limestones, and there's no scrap metal around. Obviously, there's some right there, but let's just pretend it's not there. What you need to do is hit item titanium, and then the quantity. Let's just say I need 30. You go look at my inventory. I got 30 of that, and then I can start building my base. As you can see, unlock all also unlocks everything here as well. So, if you wanted to, right, you just place your base, blah, 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 get it going. See, another thing that I guess I'm not okay with, because I don't like doing it, I personally, I went and found the stupid mystery, the secret island and fucking took the time to go find it, even though it took me a bit to do because it pissed me off. Um, unlock all will actually unlock quite literally everything, so the multi-room moon pool... And not just that, but if you hit tools, loot, it drops all the things you need, such as a flare, which I don't care about, um, a transfuser, 
a propulsion cannon, a sea glide. I should have gave me a I should have given me other tools. Sometimes I lose track of them because they kind of like, they kind of pan out. So obviously it's not, there's no harm in doing it again. Just remember, do not spawn a shit ton of stuff really fast or often because it will glitch out your game. I wanted to see how much shit it would take on the ground for it to glitch. And yeah, one of my games will no longer run, so I had to delete it. So one of the things that, you know, unlock all will do is okay fuck off I don't care if my inventory is full what are you talking about just let me get on why are you holding it like that okay so let's just drop a couple things uh, such as da, 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 da. I think I just dropped something slightly important yeah I need the builder that's like the one of the things that are pretty big in this game mode uh, so you wanna hop on the vehicle bay and you can actually see that everything in the vehicle bay is there as well. So, Sea Moth, you can find pretty easily. The Prawn Suit, a little harder to find. And Cyclops, usually, every single time I've played it, uh, you just head behind there and you'll find an island. And there's a shit ton of Cyclops pieces. So, it makes it more fun to find it. It makes you feel more accomplished. This way, it feels more like cheating and it kind of sucks donkey dick. But yeah, there's like a. Here, let's show you a bit more of the little cheats you can do. So, what I'm going to do is just hit that. Uh, you can actually cure all players. You can infect or, and everything in a range. You can infect everyone in the range. You can. Uh, so, actually, you can spawn a Cyclops. Just so all you need to do is hit um, Sub Cyclops and. If you don't want to go do the work, you can spawn one. Uh, you can sub Aurora. As you can see, I spawned the second one. Um, you can actually spawn another fucking life pod, which I don't fully see why you need one. So it's sub escaped uh, escape pod. Um. What? Did it just spawn me inside? What? Oh god, yeah. See, if you do this kind of shit too much or too often, it's gonna glitch you out. It's gonna make the game fairly glitchy. And honestly, personally, if you're the type of person that just wants to build, you can't go in creative mode, but if you want the aspect to one, like, one day after you get a certain amount of shit, you want to just continue, go for it, play this version. But if you're like me and want to play the game to play the game and, you know, earn things all by yourself, don't use this code unless you honestly cannot get shit. Because I remember watching Markiplier play and he could not find Crash Fish Sulfuric Powder. Could not find it, so he had to use the code. Could have just waited for an update, but you know, that kind of sucks as well to wait that long. So, there's also code to make faster builds, unlock all. So, this one's called Bob the Builder, and it enables fast build, unlock all, no cost, fast grow, fast hatch, and radiation. Alright, so, uh, other things that you can do would be, uh, you could be completely invisible, creatures will ignore you. Um, sets damage multiplier to player's choice. Fast scan, so it reduces the scan time with your scanner. Fast grow, obviously there's all that kind of shit. No energy, meaning all the vehicles and sea bases will be running off of basically nothing. Uh, no survival. Disables the player food and water requirements. Remove his substance value on items. Only applicable on for survival or hardcore modes. Uh, oxygen, if you just write oxygen, like, I'm pretty sure if you just do it here, or actually, there's no point of doing it, but it will actually just give you more oxygen. Gives the player unlimited supply of oxygen. Um, leak, creates a leak inside the cyclo or every cyclops on the map. Floods every cyclops, is just flood on the thing. So yeah, there's quite a bit of things. I'll put this in the description so you guys can go check out the codes. So once again, I strongly recommend not to go on this unless you need to, and unless you just are a lazy player. 
as you can see I am going back to my main menu and I will be deleting this gameplay because actually I don't think it's there see I've been playing for 12 hours on my other one that's legit don't cheat it's not fun anyways guys it's Ben Deler, and this was a subnautica tutorial later guys